morning it's day two i'm um, just in my tent it's half eight in the morning i had a good night's sleep just been to brush my teeth it's half eight in the morning did i just say that maybe i haven't had too good a night's sleep um it's been raining um just started spitting again um i was thinking about staying here for the entire day but there's not much around here it's pretty boring so what i think i'm gonna do is there's another campsite about 25 miles away and it looks like it's in a bit of a greener area on the map, looks a bit prettier. Uh, I'm gonna swing through Lille, but the only thing is it's Monday's day. It is definitely Monday's day, I've checked. And a lot of things are closed on a Monday in France. Um, it was the same when I lived in Mo. The French do their five day week and no more. So if they're open, if the shops are open on a Saturday, they have Sunday and Monday off, <laughs> which you've got to respect. But um, there are a couple of things I was I wanted to have a little look at in Lille as a cycling co-op there and things. But um, they've closed. <laughs> but I'll at least get some supplies because I really have not much food. I don't want to get stuck in that position again. I want to at least get a couple of tins of things if I can carry them. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to push on just about 25 miles, probably through the rain. But you know what you can do. I'm not made of salt, so it should be okay. Well, we'll see if that plan sticks anyway <laughs> on the next video. Bye. Well, it's 5 to 11 now. I'm in the main square of Lille, which is quite nice. But in blue, it is raining. So I'm going to find somewhere. Hopefully, I can dry and charge my devices. I'm just outside the opera in Lille. I've come to a pole, which is my favourite. They're quite pricey uh, chain of French bakeries, apple tart and coffee. Um, no way to charge my phone, but at least I'm slightly dry. But yeah, I cycled along a river called the um, Dool to get here along the path. And look at the state of me. Oh my god. So I don't really feel like I can go inside anywhere nice right now. I'm just on a roundabout in some godforsaken industrial estates in near Lille. And I just heard. Cockerels, uh, chickens, cool. Two of them, one just got in the hedge. There's shitloads of them. Look at the fucking size of those ones, these are tiny. There's the daddy. <laughs> okay, it's now 20 past three. Um, I've cycled to a village called Rue Magie, excuse my crap French accent, um, about 25 miles away from where I started this morning. Um, it's only spent an hour or two in Lille, it was mostly rain and it did suck clean up. What I did was I went inside the train station, that's a really top tip if you're somewhere with your bike because you can take your bike inside with you to get a bit of shelter. Um, and I was going to go looking for a cafe or something like that, but actually what they had in this station, it was uh, Garde Flanders. Um, they had just tables with like benches with stools with PowerPoints so you could just sit, not have to buy anything. And so I spent about an hour there charging my phone. It was charging pretty slowly, annoyingly. Um, but then the sun came out and I was like, oh, I should really be moving, I should be on the road. So I pushed on and it has, it's been dry, I've not been rained on since got my tent up it was soaking wet and um, so it's drying out now um now this is a little village it was actually it's actually probably the nicest village i passed through it's got um patisserie a boulangerie um boucherie a bar the inevitable pharmacy everywhere you go in france not how small it's got a pharmacy um but on Google it said they were going to open at three o'clock I got here half two and everyone was closed and I was like fine I can wait half an hour <laughs> put my tent up it's wit sun wit, wit Monday today that's a thing in France not only do they like having their <laughs> their Mondays off in general today is is wit apparently which is a thing <laughs> so everything is doubly closed so they're not even just having half a day off on Monday it is completely closed. I think even the bar is going to be closed. I would love a pint right now. So, I mean, up the unions and all that, it is fantastic. That's, you know, no one should be worked into the ground. But I've got, I've still got those bread wraps. Nothing else. I can just eat bread wraps and me tea. Um, I can hear chickens. So, you know, chickens don't stop laying eggs for 
holy days so oh and somebody had a big tub of strawberries they grow strawberries everywhere around here if i have to eat strawberries and eggs that'll be fine so i am gonna like i say it's only half three now or something so i'm gonna um have quite an easy chill day today no more riding unless i have to ride into the next village or something um but i'll probably just do one more video to let you know if i've managed to feed myself or not i'm in the land of best food in the world and no one will sell me any <laughs> so the good news is i found a bar that's open about five minutes away from the campsite the weird crazy news is that it's in belgium <laughs> i'm in belgium now i started off in france and now i'm in belgium this is belgium just two minutes down that road there is france um it's a bar and a little shop it said on google it said it was a supermarket google lies so um everyone in there was lovely everyone's about 70 they were telling me where to go apparently it's at Ypres Marche eight, eight kilometers away so i might push on it is looking like it's gonna rain but i do need some food <laughs> and i did buy a beer and some crisps which is great but belgian beer is so nice <laughs> but i do need something a bit more sturdy than that i'll carry on so i decided to try and find the supermarket in a nearby village um, my phone said it was five miles away. Half an hour, do that. I've not got my panties on, so I'm going really fast. <laughs> it's just taking me a look at the route. This is the road I'm on. I'm in the middle of nowhere. I don't know if I'm in France or Belgium. I've got my beer in, in my bag, and I'm just worried it's going to get really shaken up because I probably will be having that before I come back. <laughs> well, anyway, this is the type of riding I wanted to do, to be honest. Well, not all the time, but to be fair, I've just been on main roads. Um, for ages. <laughs> this is actually really nice. Just hope the rain stays off. I got to the supermarket. I'm going to show you my haul. This is either going to be my dessert tonight or my breakfast in the morning. That's either going to be my breakfast in the morning. Lotus flavoured French pan. Oh my god. It's going to be breakfast in the morning or subsequent mornings if I can stuff it in my bag. This is my tea for tonight. Pia French cassoulet. Mm -mm -mm. Sausages, lentils, and other random bits of meat. It's like an all day breakfast, but it's French. What else did I get? This is the reason I've been so sluggish lately. I didn't have Haribo. I should always, always have Haribo close to hand when I'm riding my bike. Orangina flavour. Uh, what else did I get? Oh, some sardines. So I can have them in my wrap maybe for lunch tomorrow. And these are my crisps my belgian crisps paprika because they do crisp flavors right on the continent and dun, 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 this is getting drank now this is from that little belgian bar so uh and then i've got to cycle home slightly 10 mile round trip to get me tea <laughs> gotta do things the hard way 